Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. I am excited to share some things going on today and just some updates. Um, Kaden finally started school and he's gone for a couple days now. He's doing really, really well. And um, I know a lot of you guys have been like messaging me on Instagram asking how he's doing. So I wanted to update you about that um but he's he's doing so well and i'm so happy he definitely like freaks out a little bit once you drop him off as soon as he like gets in there and um starts playing and you know they start the day he's much much better but it's been so good and it's been great for me because i feel like i'm finally able to get like a good full day of work done that i need to actually just got back from a coffee shop. I was there with my assistant and we just like plowed through a ton of work. Um, and we, we dropped him off at like 8.30 this morning. So he does like a full day. We pick him up around like 4, 4.30. Some days I might pick him up early, but it's been really good so far. And I'm, I'm very happy. It's been great for him to have interaction with other kids. And he is exhausted by the end of the day, which is also really good. Yeah, so that is a big update. I know I've been kind of talking about it. I've been sharing a ton of hauls of like clothes that I've gotten him and whatnot. I apologize for the past few videos. I feel like it was just like a lot of hauls and I've kind of been trying to figure out what to film and when to pull the camera out. Um, there just it hasn't been many exciting things going on and pretty much day to day I'm at home. Um, but now that I have like two full days a week, hopefully I can spend those days filming for you guys, getting work done, cleaning my house, just things that I need to get my life in order, you know? This is gonna be really great. I also stocked up on a ton of medicines for Caden, vitamins, because I am assuming he will be coming home with some colds and some sicknesses, which is kind of what I've been very nervous about. Oh, I just got an update from his school. Um, and they send videos and pictures like literally every hour so it's great he's been really napping well there too which was i was so nervous about because obviously you know he's so used to napping in a crib and now he's napping on a like mat <laughs> at school like with a ton of kids so it's just it's so different but he seems to be doing well he went down at like 12 45 and he just woke up and it's like two not the longest nap, but it'll do. I, I just got home. I've just been um, you know, answering some emails. Anthony cleaned up the house a little bit while I was gone because it was honestly a mess and we're having some company over later. So just, it's Friday night. We're just like ordering food and hanging out. Also wanted to mention that I'm doing this new thing on Instagram. Uh, weekly which will be super fun um, and if you guys are interested you can message me or email me and I'll have all my info below but I want to do some small business shout outs weekly we're gonna actually do them on Saturday I was gonna do them on Sunday but Sundays are usually like my chill day and just getting things prepared for the following week so I figured Saturday would be nice because I'm like kind of out and about running around and I'm gonna be shouting out a small business every week um, I have a few lined up already, but if you are a small business and you're looking to get some support, I would love to share your business. I've actually gotten a lot of emails um, from so many people already from just me sharing this on Instagram, but I also wanted to share it here as well. I'll have my business email below. I'll send over a little packet we put together of like how we can help each other and um, you know how you want your shout outs to be. I'll have giveaways and discounts with the shops. So it'll be really fun. And I just wanna give back to this online community with everything. I know things have been super rough um, and there's a lot of people that actually were home during and have started new businesses like working from home because of So I just think that this is a great time to be shouting out small businesses. Um, I do want to mention though that I am planning to share actual physical products. I'm not going to be sharing any online like experience, like coaching, um, anything like that, just because that takes time for me to experience 
that in order for me to share about it and when I'm sharing these small businesses these are going to be things that I love things that I stand by um, and that I love the company I love the people that represent it I love their message um, it's really just about showing some love so I did just want to mention that because there are some people that are sharing like their blogs with me which is amazing but this is for physical products. I know that sponsored content is not something um, that, hold on, Anthony's picking up food and I think he just texted me the menu. Can you get me a shredded chicken burrito? Also, can you see if they have gluten-free tortillas? I know that sponsored content is something that like annoys some people and it is just the reality of being an influencer and being on social media. I mean, we have to make a living and this is how we get paid. Um, it's the same as any other company where you make commission. It's, it's the same kind of thing. Um, but I do believe in helping other people out without getting money. <laughs> um, it's not always about the money and I realize that. And there are so many small businesses that I purchase from that I truly love um, and would be honored to work with. So this just gives me a chance to connect with you guys on a personal level and truly just help you out and help your business in any ways that I can on my platform. So um, I just wanted to share that and give a little update. This is actually from a small business and I am so obsessed with this, I'll be sharing it on my Instagram, so look out for that. Um, I'll have a link below. I don't have any hauls today, guys, no worries. I don't have anything to share with you that I've gotten. Um, I kinda went on like a little spending spree just being prepared for like fall and whatnot. One thing that I do wanna talk about is me trying to go on a diet, which I wouldn't really call it a diet. I don't wanna call it a diet because I feel like Diets make me realize that I am like restricting myself. The only thing that I do want to mention are these two books that I got. Um, it's an anti-inflammatory like diet book recipe thing and then a gluten-free diet thing. I realized that I've had some issues going on and I'm trying to naturally fix them. A lot of people have been asking about my blood pressure. Um, I went to go see a doctor. I have to get a ton of tests done, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to wait to like receive all my results and it's gonna take a while for me to get all this, these tests done. But um, I'm not on any medication right now and I'm doing anything I can to help my body naturally. I have been drinking teas every single day. I have been doing like detox teas um, and just like stress relieving teas. I've been taking CBD every single day. I have been changing up like what I'm eating and like eating foods specifically to lower my blood pressure. Um, you guys have been seeing on my Instagram, I've been posting a ton of smoothies. So maybe I'll show you a recipe today. I actually don't know if I have everything because I met it right now. I went through an entire gigantic bag of blueberries. Blueberries and bananas are known to be really good for your blood pressure and naturally lower it. So there's just like some things from my diet and like exercise, things that I'm trying to do naturally. Um, my doctor said that I'm too young to be going through this. There is a cardinal right outside my window. I love that. In front of me filming. See that? Yep. Hi. You paying me a visit because I asked to see you? I've been asking for them to show up. So I haven't seen them in a while. The night I was literally praying on my knees before bed and I, uh, I was just asking for God to show up and show me some signs. Um, and one of the ways that I, I feel personally that um, I've been shown signs is through birds, cardinals and hawks and cardinals have been coming around for months for me. I've talked about it on my channel before. Um, I know it's a little bit controversial. Um, I like to share my faith because it's so important to me. It has truly changed this past year for me. 
Um, but yeah, Cardinals is one of the ways that, that he shows up for me and um, I prayed about it the other night. But it is the anniversary. I'm going so all over the place and off topic, but it's the anniversary of my pub-ups passing this weekend on Sunday. So we're gonna go to the cemetery. Um, and last year when we went to the cemetery, we had a hawk and a hawk somehow some way like is a sign of my pub up i don't know how or why but it just seems like a hawk is and um last year there was a hawk literally following us like through the cemetery it was hovering over my pup ups um like his stone and it was just it was crazy Anyway, side note, I just want to show you guys that because uh, it's always when I am at this window um, and I'm looking out that it just shows up. Anyways, this is what I was trying to show you guys. I got these two books. Um, I truly feel like I might have a slight gluten, glu gluten, <laughs> a slight gluten intolerance. I truly feel like my husband has a gluten allergy. I got them on Amazon and I'm going to see how they are. A no stress meal plan with easy recipes to heal the immune system. And then this is like fast um, recipes for busy people on a gluten free diet. I'm not like on a full gluten free diet guys, but I'm trying to incorporate it. I, I know to go gluten free, you really have to do it for like two months straight to even see a difference. It is so hard. I love my pasta guys. I love my bread. I love carbs. Um, but I, I'm, I'm trying, so this is a step in the right direction. I swear I have like psoriasis, um, I have inflammation in my body, I have pains, which is why I go to the chiropractor. Maybe the blood work will come back and show me that I have an autoimmune disease, I don't know, but I'm, I'm trying to get my mind, body, and soul, um, all good and aligned you know, working well. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And if you have any good gluten-free recipes that you love and any like pasta brands that you swear by that taste similar, like let me know. Message me um, on Instagram and I would love to hear from you. First week of school done. I'm all done my first week. Woo -hoo -hoo. Did you have so much fun? Woo -woo. Did you have fun, baby? Such a good boy. Oh, I'm sure they emptied this. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> you thirsty boy. Good job, 
So it is football Sunday. We're eating breakfast. Anthony actually got me a Starbucks today because I was struggling. I usually only get this like twice a week. I get it as a treat when I take Caden to school. But it is so good. Um, it's a grande cold brew, one pump of pumpkin sauce, three pumps sugar-free vanilla, a light splash of cream, and then pumpkin topping. Um, the color is perfect. It's like just how I like my coffee. And I usually do almond milk. Um, this specific drink though I think was on the macro barista and it's like 80 calories. So very low in calories and it's really good. I, I honestly only drink like half of it because cold brew is a little bit stronger, but it's better than my double shot of espresso. So um, trying to be better with that. Not too much caffeine, but yeah. And then Anthony also got him some egg bites. I just got done doing some like dishes and whatnot. I get ready to watch some church today. It's actually like 9.15. I think it starts around like 9.30. Share your hurts, your frustrations. But let's learn how to love one another. Let's learn how to look one another eye to eye, face to face. To rejoice with those who are rejoicing and mourn with those who are mourning. But let us lift our eyes and fix our eyes on the author and the perfecter of our faith. May our hope always be in Him. May we rely always on the love that comes from heaven. Listen, you were born for such a time as this. Not to just get by, but I believe with all my heart to demonstrate the glory of God in every circumstance, in every one. The painful ones, the joyful ones, the confusing ones. Whatever season you're in, lift your head. You're a child of heaven. And God loves you more than you know. He's walking with you. He is your fortress and your strong tower in your time of need. And brothers and sisters, look to your left and look to your right. Find someone who you can encourage today. And may our testimonies encourage us to continue on doing good before God and knowing <laughs> that we should never grow weary in doing good for in such a season. <laughs> Man, I love it. God's going to show up. And I pray that His love is present in your life this week. So I am just getting some organizational stuff for paperwork. Um, like a whole file system right here. I saw these. Um, and it looks super cute. I'm going to put this on top of my printer in the little office area and then um, I have like a bigger one that I'm going to put files in and then I also got this because I need to put um, like bridal contracts in there, lashes, lip glosses. I was just ran out so I wanted to grab these. You want to store all your cars in there? Wow. You have so many cars, we need a container for it. Okay, stay here. Stay here, come back. It's like a Hot Wheels case so you can store all the cars. I might just get it because we literally just have him in a bin and he just dumps them.
Which ones are you looking at? Several ones. Okay, stay here. Retoned my hair today because I felt like it was getting weird. Probably need to get it touched up. Anyway, Caden has been in a weird mood today. He's been like super cranky and he hasn't eaten a full meal. I don't know what's going on with him, but he like didn't want to have lunch. I gave him a ton of snacks to see if he just wanted a snack. Wouldn't have a snack. So we tried no, to get him out of the house. He wants me to just open the car. Yeah, but we, we just like want to, sometimes we just go to Target or just like get him out of the house to like. Hey everybody. <laughs> Here's his case with all of his cars. We gotta fill it up for him. We're gonna have to get like... I actually thought he had so much more. Like, we're gonna have to get like 50 more. Yeah. I thought he had... Well, he had a whole bin, but he would just... It'd always be such a mess, but he really liked pulling this around. It's like a suitcase. 